beautiful shot of downtown. I know. I was just about nice? to say, beautiful shot of downtown Indy. The well, 4th of July weekend means different things to different people. Yeah, our own Mary Mills spent the entire part of the day at the Benjamin Harris House, where the holiday is taking on a much deeper meaning for those who are gathered this year. Take a look. That I will support and defend the Constitution and laws. 94 people from 32 countries took the oath of citizenship surrounded by family and friends. Congratulations, you're now citizens of the United States of America. It was a day many, including Esmeralda Soriano, a native of El Salvador, waited years for. And it's really hard over there right now, so it's a big opportunity to be in uh, this country to help the family. Some here became citizens as a family. This one from South Wales. Oh, it's very happy, very exciting day for us as a family. It's, uh, it's been, we've been here 14 years in the United States, and so it's really great to have this come to fruition. Russia. Russia. Who's here from Russia? Judge Sarah Evans Barker, who led the ceremony, noted the debate over immigration. No one, in my view, is better qualified or more credible in helping our country shape these debates and policies than you are. You are welcome here. You are welcome here. It was a day to celebrate many people from many different parts of the world. God bless the Italians, Koreans, the Colombians who came. God bless the Jamaicans, Chinese, the Spanish. For me, it is uh, it's uh, to be part of this uh, land of opportunity and uh, equality. Like others here, the first thing she did as a citizen was register to vote. The shaping of this country is put in your hands and I take that seriously. And I think one of the first ways to do that is through vote. Um, you know, participate in all the elections and uh, make your voice heard. For her and others here, the start of the July 4th weekend was also the start of a new life as citizens. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.